syempre, hindi rin naman tayo lumaki na kilala natin yung nation natin, I would say. I mean, yes, we have social sciences. Pero, feeling ko, iba talaga yung nagagawa ng, syempre, direct experience. So, tayo ngayon, ikaw lang ka na maakyat, marami ka nakikilala. So, mas nakikilala mo rin yung country mo by doing that. Diba? Okay, guys. This is my wow. Grabe. Grabe. <laughs> Yan yung mukhang hindi pa na-blend. <laughs> yung halatang nag-makeup ng no-makeup. <laughs> so, anyway, good morning. It is currently 8.15 in the morning. I tried to fix up my face a bit because uh, my sister is going to be my guest for the vlog today because guys, happy Independence Day! And ano kinalaman nun na ang guest ko ay yung kapatid ko? Those of you who already follow my sister, she is big on travel but specifically so traveling around the Philippines and actually she is in Boracay right now and so I really wanted to guest her because I feel like you guys are gonna learn so much from her when it comes to loving our nation. Marami tayong mga bagay na pinagdadaanan right now as a nation and uh, I feel like it's going to be very helpful for us to be reminded of why we should be loving our own country. I hope that this plays a part in you falling in love with our nation all over again if you're in that point where, you know, you're, you've just lost hope for our country, which where I kind of was, really. And also, if not naman, to just even encourage you further that you're doing the right thing. So, hold on, wait lang tayo kasi we're supposed to do the call in about an hour. We did a practice yesterday because this is the first time I'm gonna do it on the vlog na meron akong call na recorded. And so, we were like, oh, pwede ka maglakad puntang beach, kanya. Tapos yung tuwang-tuwa ako kasi, wow, pare siya talagang yung background na pinipili natin sa Zoom. Pero this time, yung background niya, totoong background, dahil totoong nandun siya sa beach. Parang excited na excited ako na, okay, sige, tomorrow this is what we're gonna do. And then, she texts me today to tell me mga report ng NDRRMC. Orange rainfall sa Iloilo, Antique, Capiz, Aklan. So, Aklan nandun siya. Posible ang matinding pag-ulan, pagbaha, at pag ng lupa. Kakalok! Pwede kumuho yung lupa. Tapos ito na, yung June 2 na today. Red rainfall sa Iloilo, Antique, Capiz, Aklan, at Gimaras. Asahan ng ulit ang matinding pag-ulan, pagbaha, at pag ng so guys, no, ipag-pray natin na yung guest natin today, <laughs> hindi naman gumuguho yung lupa ba habang nag-uusap kami. So, while waiting, I'm going to work on some stuff in my computer. And she says that if she finds like a good spot in the day for her to talk to me, well then, she's going to per uh, proceed with the call that we have for today. But if not, we'll try again tomorrow. So let's see what happens. I really want you guys to see where she's staying right now. Parang ano na rin natin to, um, kasi lahat ay hindi mo siya makalabas ngayon, tayo makatravel. Parang ano na lang din natin, parang virtual travel natin with Paula Perelejo Fernandez, my sister who is in Baraka! Hi guys! So, nandito ako ngayon sa Lapag, obviously. And uh, I forgot to say that I was also gonna use this time to share with you some... Philippine literature, some books that are written by Filipino authors, but I'm gonna discuss them with you one by one para lang mas maintindihan nyo pa ng mabuti. So, I am on my second cup of coffee. While waiting, we can discuss the books that I have right here. I Most of them I encountered when I was in school. I have mentioned it in like my Q&A vlog, I think, that I am a lit major and so Yung buhay namin doon, wala kaming ginawa kundi magbasa, malamang kasi literature. One of our subjects in school was dedicated entirely to Philippine literature. I am grateful that my course in Ateneo has afforded me or at least has introduced me to the literary giants of our our country. They have a Filipino imagination which is something that is lost on other nationalities. 
if they write something for us, our consciousness is very different as Filipinos from them. And so there will always be that gap between what they write and what we understand because they just have a very different way of doing life. Okay, ito na. Sige na. Sige na. Ito na. Ang dami ko na naman sinasabi. Bread of Sol ni NVM Gonzalez. It's a short story which you can find in different anthologies. So there would be like different books out there that would sell the great short poems or literature of the Philippines na pinagsasama-sama nila. Like this one, Philippine Literatures. I, I think this is uh, published by USD. Andito po yung mga short stories na very famous at saka nakakapukaw ng damdamin para sa mga Pilipino. Katulad nga nung Bread of Salt. So this is the Likhaan Anthology of Philippine Literature in English from 1900 to the present. Si Sir Hemino Abad ang nag put together nito. So, makikita nyo po. Ganun din. Oh, may mga poem sa loob na ano, um, gawa ng mga kapwa Pilipino natin. Now, this is something that I've, I've revisited lately. So, this is Bones of Contention. This is about Bonifacio. If you are looking for a Filipino author to follow, Ambeth Ocampo. Si Sir Ambeth was a professor. Tapos nung nasa school ako na sabi ko, ay my gosh, kailangan makuha ko yung professor niya kasi sobrang galing niya sa Philippine history. Follow him by his books. He's got an amazing take on history that will change your life. Okay, Nick Joaquin. Nick Joaquin. Nick Joaquin. And I actually did a movie before. It's called The Terrien, which is uh, drawn from a Nick Joaquin story, Summer Sol Solstice. I love his writings. I specifically fell in love with his essay, Culture as History and Heritage of Smallness. A heritage of Smallness is about how the Filipinos like everything small. Tayo lang ang may yosi na tingi na two sticks binibili. Mahilig din tayo sa mga sachets, di ba? So, you have to think about that na bakit ganun ang Pilipino, no? Mahilig tayo sa maliliit na bagay. Wilfredo Naledo, this is one of my most favorite pieces of literature that talks about our nation. Search nyo lang kung ano. Pero yung pagsulat din kasi niya medyo magical. I've mentioned it before that I like magical realism as ano ba, a genre and a style of writing and for me to read. And this is Soledad Sister by, ah, ito, follow nyo rin siya, si Sir Penman. Jose Dalisay. This was actually my the, the chosen text that I have for my thesis. Ito, it talks about OFWs. Tapos yung thesis ko tungkol sa kung paano yung pagplant ng American Dream sa atin ay na-display sa mass migration ng bansa natin para makahanap ng greener pasture sa iba-ibang lugar. And a lot of that has fallen into the land of the Middle East. Oh, diba? Ito naman, ano rin siya, collection naman siya, edited by Ma'am Rica Balipata Santos. Ay, nasa nyo, ayun. Actually, si Ma'am Rica also has ito, ayan. Nag-read ako para sa kanya sa book na to. Ito yung latest book niya, but she's also an amazing essayist. She has a way, she has a knack for words when it comes to, like, um, the realities of life. And then, ito, meron for fun lang, uh, proverbs. Mga proverbs ng Pilipinas. Pero ang kinaganda nito ay sa iba-ibang lingwahe. So, kumwari mo, awanti na pudno, ditoy lubong, malaksit, di pa nakatay, kenti, pa nagbuwis. Hindi ko alam mo, ano naka, nakalag... Ah, Ilocano ata. ILK nakalagay eh. Pero yun yung maganda kasi... Proverb siya ng buong Pilipinas in different dialects, hindi lang po Tagalog, hindi lang din English. Siyempre, you know, our proverbs also let us understand more about ourselves na bakit natin naiisip yung ganun? Na ma maaaring hindi naiisip ng ibang nasyon, di ba? So, this is why I super love this book. It, it informs, kahit na proverbs lang siya, it informs me so much about our identity as a nation and probably the identity of the other provinces. Ang dami ko na namang sinabi. Tingnan, check natin kung okay na yung kapatid ko. Kung tumigil na ba ang matinding pag-ulan at saka pagguho ng lupa.
That is strong sound, guys. Kung ganito dito sa Maynila, eh, paano na lang sa Boracay, di ba? So, bukas na lang yung call namin ni Paula. Habang nagpapakaatom o rolyo siya dun sa Boracay. At nire-report sa atin ang nagbabagang balita. Ngayon po ay ang landing ng isang tropical storm sa Maynila hanggang Atlan. Okay, biglaan. Pwede na daw si Sizzy. So, hindi ko na muna tinapos yung workout ko. At habang klaro pa ang sky sa may bandang aklan, char, eh, let's take advantage of it na. Hello? 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 Oh, ayan. Ay, buulan pa rin. Ado okay na. Ulay. Pwede. Oo, ganun pa din. Oo nga. Pero Actually, nili. Dito, hindi, hindi na, na hindi na. Medyo ano na. Medyo mas kalma na. Pwede mo na kaming itour dyan. Nasa ka ba? Ano ba, ano ba yung lugar na yan? <laughs> Nandito ako sa hotel. Ay, ah, yan. Ito. Sobrang maano. Anong hotel Mahangin. yan? Okay. Ito yung Astoria Hotel. New friend ko kasi in-invite ako. Dahil meron siyang extra room. Mm-hmm. So, saan kami nag-stay for a few days. O oh, yan, biglang kamakit yung araw. Oh my gosh, okay, sige. I-tour mo na kami, Miss Paula. Miss Paula, the explorer. Miss Mama, the explorer na ngayon. <laughs> Tour niyo po kami. Sa, okay, nandito alam, lang <laughs> So, ito, nandito lang ako sa ano, yan, yung main beach. Um, kahapon may bagyo. Kaya... Mayroon ako share na video sa sa'yo. Ayun nga, grabe yung bagyo kahapon. Ito, for Boracay, ano na yan, medyo malakas na yung waves niyan. Kasi normally, di ba? Ano, Pero ang ganda pa rin ng Boracay, no? Mm-mm. Ayan, ang ganda kasi ng Station 3 dahil hinip din nila. Teka, I'll try to run. Ang ganda rin nung ano, meron silang pine trees pa dito, which never kung napansin before. Ay! Of course, of Oo, course yung mga... Um, coconut trees, di ba? Yun, maganda yun. Alam na natin yun. Pero ito, tina mo. Kita mo? Oo, uh-uh, uh-uh. yung Ayaw. outline niya. Picturean mo nga yan mamaya. Sige. Natural pine. Dito daw talaga yan, sabi ng friend kong 16 years na dito. Bakit ganun? Uh, meron talaga tayong beach pines eh. Di ba sa Zambales, marami. Dito. Yeah, Pero exactly. Yun, oh. uh, Hindi ko siya napansin before. Ngayong trip lang ng Boracay na ito ko napansin talaga yung ayun oh. Yeah. Eh. Kasi sa Sambales ko lang yan din nga nakikita na may pines. Pero toto, pwede pala talaga yun. Grabe dito, lahat ng tao bumabait. Lahat na lang kami nag-hello sa isa't isa. Kami-kami kami lang nandito. Kami-kami kami lang saka, nandito eh. Iba rin kasi yung pace of life eh, syempre. Yeah. Malakas Totoo din ito. talagang makakalma yung yung beach, di ba? Ayan, nakukula naman kayo. Ano ano so, bumalik, bumalik ka na lang kaya. Oo, oh, babalik na lang. At saka gusto ko talaga yung meron kang pagtatakbong nangyayari dito sa... <laughs> Parang walang, walang... Pero anyway, ayan, ang ganda ng ano. Ang ganda. Ang ganda Kasi iba-iba. Actually, mas nagustuhan ko na yung ano, Station 3. Kung kunyari, magsasettle dito. Kasi parang mas local yung feels niya. Yeah, Tapos yan yung same Ano siya... Ang dami niyang greens. I love Nabasa it. Na ako, kuya. Ayan, kasi sabi nga ni Marion, kailangan daw, gayahin natin yun. So, yan yung peg. Oh, na diba? Hmm. Gusto mo yan. Alright. Okay. okay. Hello. Diba? Asensya diba? sa buko ah. Galing ako talaga sa labas. <laughs> <laughs> ito talaga na to. Ito yung, mahangin ba sa labas? Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Oo. Oh, may talaga. ulan pa. <laughs> mahangin na may ulan. Okay, Miss Paula. Oh, Miss Paula talaga, oh, di ba? Hmm. Okay, start tayo kasi yung yung vlog na to is about, hmm. well, it's to celebrate the Independence Day. And I really couldn't think of anyone na parang tao na mahahapag-encourage for us to have more love for the nation and understanding for the nation hmm. than you because you have been long doing this. Sige, start muna tayo sa nasa Boracay ka. Mm-mm. Paano ka ba napunta dyan? At paano ka ba na-stuck dyan? Three months? March 5. Ayan. So, by the time na i-air to, edi, more than three months na. Oo, kasi ba bali, 
parang one year pandemic, ganyan. Sunansyon lang ako sa bahay namin. Talaga kami umaalis halos. Except nung nagbatanggas tayo, di ba? Tapos kinailangan ng antigen test noon, ganyan. Tapos a few camping trips. For a year, ganun. Yun yung ano namin, hindi kami makalabas. Tapos siguro extra hard for us. Di ko rin alam ha, kung mas extra hard kasi sanay yung lifestyle nga na, na, namin. Di ba? Lagi kaming wala. So, I don't know. It was really hard for us. So, nung nagkaroon ng chance, nag-open up na yung tourism, and hindi naman bawal pumunta dito, basta meron ka ng mga RT-PCR, ganyan. Meron isang airline, si Air Swift, na in-invite kami kasi may maiden flight sila Manila to Boracay. Talagang sa ko, yes, go. <laughs> Dapat one week lang kami. So, actually, nanghingi na ng extension sa hanla kasi yung yung trip was only four days for Air Swift. So, nanghingi na ako ng extension. Sabi ko, sige, one week. Pumayag naman. Nung one week na kami, meron kami nahanap na isang place na parang, ay, ang ganda nito. Another week, nag-extend kami. After nun, <laughs> nakahanap na kami ng one month. Meron, na nag- meron palang mga monthly rentals dito ngayon. But iba rin talaga ang lugar pag na-experience mo na siya as a... Local. A living space o oh, as a local. Oo. So, Oo. somehow, nak- nakuha mo na yung feeling as a local. Ano yung natutunan Oo. mo about it? Alam mo, ano, ang pinaka natutunan ko talaga, siguro, I would say, environment is so important. Di ba, lagi ko naman sinasabi yan, like, for kids, mm-hmm. the prepared environment or the environment of the child that includes you, it's so important. Pero ngayon ko naramdaman na, ah, iba pala yung inspiration mo kapag masaya ka talaga where you live. I mean, it doesn't have to be Boracay. Of course, it depends on the person. Some people are really more city folks. But I think you and me, pareha talaga tayo mas drawn to nature. <laughs> Pero ikaw, I think, mas mountain ka eh. Ako ang, uh, 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 ang, ang realization ko for myself, I like mountains, pero mas gusto ko talaga yung beach. Kasi nang, hindi ako nagsasawa na everyday, paulit-ulit na yung ginagawa namin, nanonood ng sunset, you know, randomly meeting up with people. Kasi after a while, Boracay gets so small, especially now. Kasi nga, yeah. close pa siya. So you see the same people over and over again, pati mga nagbibenta ng mga turon or <laughs> whatever. You see the same people that, you know, you become friends with them. Umaakit kami sa Mount Luho, yung parang mountain dito. Ano naman siya? Um, path. May, may ano siya, may road na siya. Pero, ayun, sobrang nililook forward ko. Yung, uy, akit ako, so mag-isa. I look forward to the same views or yung feels lang. Alam mo yun, yung pag umakit ka, pas mahangin. May Uh-oh. sound ng birds. May sound ng kung ano-anong insekto na or bugs na wala dito sa beach. Kasi di ba sa beach medyo mas silent siya eh dahil yung waves yung naririnig mo. So pag akit mo doon, totally different environment. Sa tingin mo ba, kasi like with what has happened to you, parang some kind of unexpected to be stuck there for like almost hmm. four months, you are now thinking of living... Uh, parang living for uh, an extended period of time, but then also, aalis ka na naman, tas live another place, ganyan. Do you still want to do that? Like, what is that something that this experience taught you? Oh, actually, ang natutunan ko, iba nga, totoo, iba kasi when you live like a local, so, pansin ko yan, syempre, nung first few weeks namin, very touristy pa, where you go, and all. Tapos, nung nag-stay na ako sa, doon na sa parang monthly na terms, Nag-iba eh. Pati yung feel, you don't really feel like a tourist. Ngayon ko na nga lang naramdaman ulit na tourist ako kasi nandito ako sa hotel. Kumbaga, like, ang saya doon na kunyari, uh, every afternoon may dumadaan pala doon sa Melikod na nagbibenta no yung mga local na bread, mga ganyan. Tapos pag umaakit ako doon sa may Mount Luho, minsan bibili ako ng ano, doon sa mga nagtatanim doon ng kung ano-ano, alumbati, whatever, bibili ako. Pero alam mo yung mga locals, mababait din eh. Paminsan, Ah, kailangan mo pang insist na babayaran mo sila kasi talagang ano lang. Sasabihin lang mo sa hindi sa ina lang yan mga tanim nila ganun. So, Alam mo parang feeling ko ang ang hmm. na-experience mo diyan is yung totoong communal living. Oo, na hindi yun. na talaga natin ma-experience, ma-experience dito sa Manila. City, oo. Actually, ang galing mo talaga. Ikaw talaga ang ano, lit major. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> kasi, alam mo, totoo. Alam mo, I never thought of it that way. But come to think of it, actually, that's the main difference, I think, more than anything. Na here, you really feel like the sense, parang you're, you're part of a community. So, and that community takes care of each other, ganyan. Pero yun nga, so ang naging realization namin, ang choices is either, pag uwi namin ng Manila, hanap kami ng bagong titirahan, na ako, na-realize ko, gusto ko talaga medyo beachside, ganyan. 
parang yung area na maraming dagat. Or, yun nga, at least stay in a place for three or four months a year. Kumbaga, oh, sige, mm-hmm. I live in Manila the rest oh. of the year para makapag-ipon. You know, kasi where we live in Manila, we live in a compound, di ba, with my in-laws. So, at least hindi na namin we worry much dun yung mga, let's say, things like rent. Kasi we have a house there already. Tapos, three to four months a year, gagastusin mo yun to live. You know, it depends per right. year. Right, so, or wherever mm-hmm. you... Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Ang ganda rin, kasi, di ba, this is what the Europeans have actually been doing for a long, long time. But iba kasi yung way that we Asians travel for many different reasons also. Like, mas konti yung summer breaks talaga natin, mas maikli. Tapos, syempre, generally, yung pera din natin mas mababa, so mas mahirap siyang, you know, stretch, parang mga ganyan. We also learn a lot about cultures. Ang dami kong natutunan, like, for example, di ba, vegetarian ako since... 2006, 7. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tapos, in Manila, I never had the problem being a vegetarian kasi all the food, all the all the new vegan or vegetarian you know, products, they're Are easily there? available yeah. in Manila. Uh-huh. And here in Boracay, apparently, kahit na malunggay, mahirap siya hanapin minsan sa market. Ah! Sa bagay, oh, totoo. Um, tamarin, oh, nga, oh, nga. Um, mushrooms are so hard to to look for here yung mga binibili kong madali lang na mushrooms sa ano sa palengke sa atin pero syempre ang dami nilang seafood so doon ko na intindihan na alam mo mahirap talaga mag-force ng diet kasi nakadepende rin yan sa kung saan nakatira yung mga tao hindi mo pwede sabihin sa mga fishermen na oh maging vegan kayo maging vegetarian kayo nang ganun-ganun lang I mean kasi yun nga the, the place where you live also place uh a, big, a very big, a big part. Oh, oh. And then when you started traveling the Philippines, did you already have the goal of, kasi di ba meron kang goal to complete all, how many provinces? provinces? Mga 81. Ayaw ko nga na ngayon, di na ako updated. 81 yung 80, last. Uh, uh, 81. Wow. So kung 81, out of 81, ilan na puntahan mo? Basta may mga tatlo or apat na lang. Ayun. Wow, okay. Oh. Bakit ka nag-start sa goal na yon. Ano yung driving force behind it? I think dahil dun sa isang prof ko na favorite ko ng college. Si Prof De Leon, Felipe De Leon Jr. Um, nakakaaliw talaga siya. Ang dami niyang alam sa Philippines. So, kung nag-field trip kami, lagi ako sumasama. Tapos, ang dami ko natututunan about culture. For example, nung nagpunta kami ng Ilocos, pinapakita niya na kahit pala sa architecture ng, kunyari, ng, ng Ilocos, yung paloob na ganun, maraming ganun. Kasi nga, lahat yung nagre-reflect dun sa parang pagkamatipid nila, di ba? Sabi nila, oh, oh, oh. But it also has something to do with their landscape. Parang mountain sila and sand or something. Mahirap bumuhay ng vegetables. Kung, kung baga, like, mas madali, let's say, if you were in Central Luzon or something. So, kung baga, kaya mas matipid sila. Tapos kaya yung meals nila, sa kanila yung mga tinakbit, dining din yung mga halo-halo, kung ano na lang yung gulay na meron dyan. So, sobra ako na interest sa ganun. Kung ang galing na iba-iba pala talaga. So, yun. Siya yung naging inspiration ko kasi umiikot din siya around the Philippines. Hindi ko alam kung natapos na na yung 81. Pero na-mention na yun before. So, kung i-try ko nga. Pero yung sa lahat ng napuntahan mo, ano yung parang pinaka nakapagbago ng pananaw mo? Bawat pinuntahan namin, meron na babago eh. Kasi, you know, alam mo nung college ako, syempre mas wala akong pera. So, talagang ano kami, sobrang backpacking, di ba? Alam mo yun, as in, mga sinistayan namin, mga ins, kasi, as in yung mga parang 300 pesos per night. Kasi, para sa akin, tulugan lang siya. Dahil gusto ko talaga, all day, nasa labas kami, nag-i-explore. Nung nagkaroon na kami ng travel agency, nagkaroon kami ng business, kinasal kami, mas nagkaroon kami ng konting pera. So, na-afford mo namin yung mga mas magandang hotel, ganyan, mga mas mahal na activities. Pero, Pag lagi kami nag-uusap ng husband ko, parang pinaka, yung fondest memories namin, yung nagbabakla kami, yung wala kami masyadong pera. Ganyan. Totoo! Kasi, napo-force kami to talk to the locals. I think yun yun. Napo-force ka na mag-commute. Pero nga ako mga stories na nag-ride kami ng van, tapos nasukahan ako nung, nung ano, <laughs> yung babae na susuka kasi siya. Hindi ko magawang magalit kasi actually nakakaawa yung babae. No? So, nasusuka siya, yung, 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 eh, yung head ko na sa may labas pag pinipili ko yung hangin. Nung sumuka siya, lumabas yung, <laughs> yung suka niya dun. Basta napunta sa akin sa likod. Nakakatawa. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh. Pero, pero yun, yun yung fondest memories ko actually. And I think all of that changed me. Nag-commute kami from Boho, Bicol, 
to Manila, tapos ang tanging available na lang na bus, non-aircon, 12, 14 hours. Tapos parang doon ko nalamdaman yung, grabe yung, yung bus, may mga maliliit na itis. Tapos yung mga katabi ko talaga, yung may dalang manok mga ganyan. So parang imbis na mainis ka kasi sa mga ganyan situations, di ba? Parang oh my god, ang naisip ko talaga noon. Ako ginagawa ko lang to sa leisure, gusto kong mag-bicol, tapos kumuwi, ganyan experience. Pero yung sila, parang yun yung everyday nila. That's what they have to deal with, di ba? Yung mga taong so kasi yun lang i-afford nila. Ngayon, sa lahat ng decision at maka, maka, makaikot ka na ng Pilipinas, ano yung sa tingin mo na parang you can really say about Filipinos? Alam mo, honestly, ano, very warm talat. Siguro yun yung masasabi ko. Yung pwede kang magtanong, alam mo yun, yung kahit, kahit sino, tas tutulungan ka rin naman talaga. Especially pag mga provinces. For example, naalala ko, may, nagpunta kami ng Bacolod. May lang akong inask na local. Ano siya, bata? Siguro mga high school or college ganyan. Hindi niya ako kilala ha. As in, parang wala siyang clue talaga kung sino ako or kung napanood niya ba ako before or whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Pero tinanungan lang namin, sabi ko, uy, san ba ba? Anong maganda dito? Ganyan, ganyan. Alam mo, sinabahan niya kami the whole day. As wow, in, talaga. Oo, oh, parang wala lang. Parang siguro gusto lang din niya gumala or what. Pero as in, inikot na kami. Mga ganun. Tapos, alala ko sa Mikotabato, sa Cotabato City, na wala yung ano, ay, na, na, iwan ko yung wallet ko. Meron talaga nag-tweet sa akin, although yun, nakilala naman niya ako, tweet niya ako na, hi, you left your wallet sa restaurant, wow. iniwan ko sa ganito. Tapos, um, may isang uh, jeep, jeepney driver, sa ilo-ilo rin yata to. Kami na yung huling passengers niya kasi malayo yung pupuntahan namin. So, bumaba na lahat. So, sabi niya, eh, saan ba kayo pupunta? Kasi ko, ito po, may nahanap ako. Dinala niya kami doon. Di ba kasi yung jeep, hindi naman, niya nag, hindi naman yung tricycle na iiwan kasi mismong stop mo eh. Ayun, wala naman daw siyang ginagawa. So kung saan kami na hindi na niya dapat drop off point. Dinala niya kami. Ah, ganun. Ayan, babalik tayo sa sinabi mo, environment. Parang feeling ko naman it's really so different. Say, America is big, but it's connected by land upon land upon land. Totoo. So the parang like very more industrial talaga yung ano nila. Tayo ang tribal ng acting natin kasi... Puro tayo too big to cross. Actually, oh yan, alala ko yan. Diniscuss ni Prof. D before. Talagang Prof. Yeah. D tawag sa kanya. Um, parang may sinabi siya, the mountains unite, the seas divide. So kaya marami yung cultures and languages natin because kapag through mountains or land, mas may similarities talaga. Kasi siguro yun nga, nalalakad mo. Madali. Dahil, alam mo, one, Oo. once upon a time, wala naman talagang transportation, di ba? Siyempre naglalakad ka, Correct. sanay na sanay maglakad ng mga tao. So, Um, but tayo nga archipelago, so the seas divide. Kaya parang mas iba-iba na yung language, yung dialects, yung culture. Yun. Kasi mas mahirap na. Mas mahirap na tumawid. Dahil kailangan mo na ng tools nun other than your food. Parang when I came into this conversation, sabi ko, ano ba yung gusto kong matutunan tungkol sa nation natin? Kasi honestly, mm-hmm. like, between the two of us, mas nauna ka naman talagang maging ano eh, parang advocate for our country. Mm-hmm. Hindi rin naman tayo lumaki na kilala natin yung nation natin, I would say. I mean, yes, we have social sciences. Pero, feeling ko iba talaga yung nagagawa ng, syempre, direct experience. Mas nakikilala mo rin yung country mo by doing that. Yeah. Diba? At saka parang, ang galing lang na ang natutunan ko isa pa sa'yo is like, the inspiration of teachers, no? Like, kasi, yung teacher mo, prof mo, ang nag-inspire sa'yo to do that. And I feel like ako rin, like a whole lot of my love for the nation is because of like si Sir Ambes. Yes. Mga, diba? Oh. Mga favorite natin. Oh. Tapos sa isang Charlotte Ay, Wilson yeah. na, na workshop na na-attendan ko, parang sabi rin niya, but do, go, also go beyond living books and look for living persons. Yun yes. nga, people who are passionate, so passionate na nakahawa ka. Diba? Kasi ako, mm-hmm. I came to my, my prof's class na, okay, kasi ano, requirement to. Tapos I heard he's good. Ganon. Pero I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know that I would love the Philippines so much after being his student. I'm also discovering the same thing. Kahit di ko na-attendan yung workshop. Okay. Na parang, Oo, yun. I'm Sorry, looking yun. for living things in everything. Hindi Oo. lang pala sa books. Parang meron nga pala talagang material that is alive. Mm, tapos yun. meron ding material na dead yung parang eh, anong gagawin ko dito hindi talaga siya nang bibigay ng buhay sa akin at hindi siya buhay itself Uh-oh. so yeah you're, you're correct na 
parang it's a goal for us to look for the living person. That living person, that living environment that would continue to spark our love for the nation. Well, thank you so much uh-huh. for sparing a few minutes with us and for your reporting. Live Uy, na, ano na, na dry na ng wind. <laughs> Uy, tinan mo, na dry na ng wind yung hair ko. Di ba kanina basang-basa kasi nga nag-live reporting ako sa labas. Oh, oh yan, dry na siya ngayon. Alam mo, yan naman ang gusto ko rin pag nakatira ka sa probinsya. Kahit hindi ka na maligo, char. <laughs> Ande, totoo yun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi to, to your family and everybody okay. else in Barangay. Bye. All right, bye. Okay, so tapos na yung call natin with my sister. And I really hope that you guys like that because my sister really is like one of those people I look up to. Matagal na pong ginag- ginagawa ito ng kapatid ko. We talked about earlier yung living persons and she's like one living person for me who has inspired me to get an education, to stand up for myself, uh, to be independent, um, to think of myself, and also to love our nation more. Siguro I'd, I'm just gonna wrap this up with a, a little takeaway from our talk. When she said that the mountains unite and the seas divide. That struck me hard kasi ang Pilipinas ay archipelago. On the one hand, the diversity is just amazing. It's so beautiful to look at how different we all are. But then also to a, to a disadvantage naman na we, we really have the tendency to be more apart and to divide than to unite simply because of how our environment, how, you know, how the Philippines is shaped. Kaya siguro ang hilig natin mag-away. Ewan ko ba? Ganun ba yung mga... Kaya ba ganun ang Pilipino na mahilig tayo mag-away? Kasi nga, because of our environment. Tapos, on top of that, we have so much socio-economic problems, di ba? Hindi naman yan lingid sa ating kaalaman. But you know, I mean, problems are problems. They're always gonna be there. Are we going to be a part of the solution? It is Independence Day today. It's a very precious day because... It's a day that was bought for us, that cost so many people, so many things, including lives, just so we can have this. I pray that we will treasure this by choosing to be one. Alam ko magkakaiba po tayo ng paniniwala and pagkat na naman din na yung pagkakaiba natin. Pero merong place where we really have to be as one, we have to act as one. Katulad ng just really loving our nation more, and really seeking out the best option for our nation. And when the time comes, when we have a decision in our hands, I pray that we will choose to be one and to be united in choosing the best, not just what we want, but we will really choose the best for our nation. Maligayang, maligayang araw ng kalayaan sa ating lahat. And if you like this video, like nyo po! Subscribe if you haven't yet, and turn on your notification bell. Cause next week, my surprise na naman ako sa inyo. Goodbye.